Adventures with Lolly and Sweets Pets. Hi, Lolly and Sweets! Hi! It's so great to see you guys today. Are you guys ready for a new fun adventure? Yeah! yeah. Well, get ready, because today we're going to learn about pets. Yeah! Okay, ready, let's go! Okay, guys, so we're here at the pet store, as you can see. There are so many different kinds of cool animals. I just can't wait to meet them. Come on, let's go! Now here we have a hermit crab. Look how fun and vibrant their shells are. Now they each have a cool painting on their actual shell. And the reason that you can do this is because the shell is not actually part of their bodies. Just make sure you use non-toxic paint because they will chop at them to make it fit just right. Now these guys are super social and they do great in groups of three or more. So just make sure you get a large enough tank so they can get plenty of exercise. great about some of these pet shops is that they also have pet adoptions for cats which is amazing because there are so many stray kitties that need a home. As you can see these kitties are taking their cat nap at the moment. Lolly and Sweets, it looks like this kitty wants to be your friend. Aw, so cute. Now kitties need lots of cool goodies like this cat tree which gives them a really great place to climb or to just cozy up inside. Some of them even come with little feathers so that they can use as toys. It's really important to get them a collar in case they get lost. Look at all these cute toys, Lolly Sweets and boys and girls. Now they love to play and chase toys, so make sure you get them plenty. Now these are scratch posts, and kitties use them because they have a natural urge to scratch, to remove debris, or to mark their territory. And just like us humans, they also need vitamins and nutrients to keep them healthy. Cats use a kitty litter box to use the restroom and you fill it up with this sand that clumps up so you can take it right out. Wow, look at all the food they have to choose from. Dry, wet food and so many yummy snacks. Look, Lying Sweets and Boys and Girls, these are albino white mice. Aren't they just adorable? Now they call them albino because they are all white, completely white, and their eyes are red. Now mice need a lot of exercise. As you can see, this little guy is totally enjoying his little mouse wheel. Just look at him go. And they need plenty of fresh water. As you can see, it's drinking from its little water bottle. Now mice like to feed on fruits and veggies, some proteins, or you can buy nutrient-rich mouse food here at the pet store. These guys here might look like mice, but they have no tails because they are hamsters, but they are part of the same Chrysidae family with rats and mice. Guys, I had one named Maribel when I was little. Oh, I miss her so much. These guys, just like mice, need lots of exercise and love to go round and round on their hamster wheels. And they also have a similar diet, lots of fruits and veggies. Now, Lolly Sweets and boys and girls, you guys are thinking this looks like a large hamster, but it's a guinea pig. It's part of the cavity family. And they are much, much larger, growing up to 11 inches. Now, what's awesome about guinea pigs is that they communicate by making sounds that have different meanings. They even jump like popcorn popping in the air when they're happy. How cute! When it comes to guinea pigs, there are lots of breeds to pick from. Short hair, long hair, no hair. They're just awesome. But just like the smaller rodent family, they also love fruits and veggies. Now you can keep guinea pigs in tanks or in cages. You just have to make sure they're large enough so they get plenty of exercise. And as you can see, they also have plenty of toys and grooming supplies to care for your little guinea pig. Also, most pet shops will carry plenty of different foods and supplements and wood shavings for bedding for your little critter. Oh look, parakeets! I just love parakeets. These guys are so friendly and have such a loving personality. It makes them the most popular companion bird ever. Just look how beautiful and vibrant their feathers are. Now these guys love to be held at least for half an hour to an hour a day and can even learn to speak. Now this adorable little guy is the smallest of the cockatoo family. It's called a cockatiel. They are just so sweet 
and gentle. They just love to be out of their cages and can grow to up to 12 inches. Guys, they're so cute. It looks like it's got makeup on. These birds are extremely social and love daily interactions with their human friends. They are smart enough to learn commands as well. Now guys, birds need to keep their beaks from getting too long. So make sure you grab a cuddle bone so they can keep their little beaks groomed. Now as you can see, they have plenty of spacious cages to pick from and lots of nutritious bird feed, which usually consists of seeds and nuts and healthy nutrients. Oh my gosh, Lion Sweets and boys and girls, it's a tropical iguana. Wow, this guy is so cool looking with its beautiful green color. Now iguanas need lots of chlorine-free water and they also love to eat fruits and veggies. Just remember to chop it up or cut it up since they don't have any teeth and they just swallow their food. Well, Lonely Sweets and Boys and Girls, this is a green basilic lizard. And it's so cool because it runs so fast, it can actually run on top of the water. Yes, you heard me, it runs on the water. They love to eat brown crickets, and they also need a heat lamp to stay comfortable. Speaking of cool lizards, you guys, here we have the bearded dragon. These guys are very friendly. So friendly that when they move their arms, they look as if they're waving hello. Now, these are big lizards, guys. They can grow up to 24 inches, so make sure you have a large enough habitat for them to move around in, and they also require a heat lamp as they are from a warm environment as well. Bearded dragons love to be comfy, so make sure you treat them to a fresh bedding at least once a month, and they also love fruits and veggies. Okay, now Lolly and Sweets, here we have the cutest lizard of all. It's a veiled chameleon. Look how adorable he is. Now these guys are are able to look in any direction without turning their heads or shifting their body positions because each eye can swivel nearly 180 degrees. And they can change their color to match their environment, to camouflage themselves. These guys are so cool. Oh look, it's a ball python. Now this breed of pythons are the smallest, growing only to three to five feet. And with the proper socialization and care, they can easily be handled and are very docile and calm. Now the smaller snakes will eat crickets, but the adults will eat mice and rats. Yikes, guys, I don't know if I could have a snake as a pet. But I do love watching them because snakes just slither around so sleek and smooth. Now, Lolly Sweets and Boys and Girls, here we have a Russian tortoise. Now, these are my absolute favorite pet. These guys love to eat fruits and veggies, and they love sunshine and warmer temperatures, so we'll also need a heat lamp. Though, if you have a secured backyard, they love to go for a stroll in the afternoon sun. Now, these guys are super friendly and outgoing, but they need a little bit of time and gentle handling to warm up. Oh, look, a Solcata tortoise. So adorable. Hi, little guy. Now, these guys can live up to 70 years. <laughs> Definitely a best friend forever. Now, besides land turtles, we also have water turtles. Here we have a beautiful, large, yellow-bellied slider. These guys can grow pretty big, up to 13 inches long, and are really active swimmers, so make sure you have a large enough tank. Look, guys, it's Nemo <laughs> for a clownfish. Guys, there are so many different beautiful colored fish here at the pet shop. Some are even fluorescent. Wow, they're just so beautiful. What I love about fish is that they are just so relaxing to look at. You just look at them swimming around. It's just amazing. Now, there's two types of fish, freshwater and saltwater fish. But just know that saltwater fish sometimes require a little more. And as you can see, there's many different houses and little hideouts that you can pick for your pet fish. I really could just look at these fish all day. Wow, they're just so beautiful. Now these are beta fish. These guys come in so many different colors. Now the males need to be separate because they will flare up their fins and attack other male beta fish. But females are much more social and can be kept with other fish. Now these guys love to breathe from the surface of the water and like little to no current water. 
<laughs> oh, look, it's another clownfish. Hi, Nemo. They're so cute. And look, it's Dory, a blue tang. These guys are saltwater fish, by the way. Now, if you have a large enough salt water tank, you can also have these cool creatures like this sea urchin here. That's a spiky thing. And a starfish. Look how cool. You can see that these guys are totally crawling around. It's so cool. Look, Lolly Sweets and Boys and Girls, it's a water eel. I don't know about you, but these guys, after seeing the Little Mermaid, I don't know. I just don't trust them. They seem a little sneaky to me. <laughs> just kidding. Wow, guys, there's so many cool and different types of water animals that you can have, like this adorable red and white shrimp. Oh my gosh, you can even have koi fish. Now these guys are huge and just absolutely beautiful. Perfect if you have a beautiful pond in your backyard. Just remember guys to always remember to get the right size tank. Depending on your fish or how many, you can even add beautiful live plants to help maintain a healthy environment. And with so many types of food, I'm sure you will find the right one for your little water pet. Guys, I love going to the pet store. Welcome back, Lolly Sweets. Wow, that was so much fun. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.